Welcome back. Now that you have a good idea on how adoption of SASV standards could be useful in research, engagement, and reporting, let's now explore how to apply data disclosed under the sustainability accounting standards in evaluation of a company. The process consists of six key steps. First, identifying what sustainability topics are material for a specific company that you are evaluating. Second, obtaining and normalizing the data. Third, examining the data in context of company's operational circumstances. Fourth, evaluating in terms of likelihood, intensity, and timing of potentially material impacts. And finally, connecting impacts with the inputs of your financial valuation model. In this section, we'll go over each one of the steps and give you specific examples to relate to. As we go through this process, it is good to keep in mind that although analysts might be looking at the same sustainability information, the interpretation and application of it may vary significantly. This is also the case in traditional financial analysis. Two individuals evaluating a company using the same data from financial statements will most likely price it differently due to personal perception and number of assumptions that actually go into the model, such as growth rate or discount rate. Similarly, a person who does not believe that the climate change consideration will bring significant regulatory actions in coming decades will attribute less importance to the risk associated with the levels of carbon emissions compared to a person who expects important changes in this regard.